How you doing, guys? I'm Sean. Hi, everybody. I'm Lynn. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Hey, everyone. My name is Owen, and welcome to the video. Thanks for joining. Guys, this video here is a collaboration between uh, two channels. Uh, the wonderful Owen Fox yeah. <laughs> and the wonderful Lynn and, and, uh, and the magical Sean. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, guys, listen, we're just a quick video. We've got Owen Sten uh, with us here for a few days down in the lovely sunny Waterford <laughs> in the uh, southeast of Ireland. And yep. We've been covering a lot of videos, we've been talking and we're doing some healings and things like that. So we're out here in nature and we've just shot a video and we're just saying about how important it is to uh, mm. get out into nature. I know some of you guys could be stuck in, you know, like New York and things like that and you can't get anywhere. Get into Central Park, get, get into, into the the park, summer yeah. nature. Unbelievable. It's going to oh. help you as guys, so you have to really uh, yeah. seek out the some nature. The best nature. therapy on the planet, isn't Definitely. it? Yeah, I think oh. it's one of the biggest things like we can all do for our own self-love and self-nurture and letting go of heavier thoughts and emotions yeah. just to feel happier brighter and more uplifted really 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 important 100 percent. because i say it's we forget that you know we, we have to we watch what we're eating of course we're exercising and then we're sort of you know watching our other activities in our life and thinking this but remember it's main body and spirit but remember the biggest teacher is nature we have to get out of once you get out into that nature away oh. from all the distractions all the hustle and bustle yeah. of our everyday lives even for 10 15 minutes if you can find a tree in a park somewhere just go sit beneath it Maybe bring a notepad and a pen oh. with you and start recording. You love going out nature. Oh, I love going out in nature. It's just the most amazing therapy and it's completely free. And to go out there, not only does it clear your head, and if you're walking, it's fantastic exercise, but also it's just spiritually cleansing. It's like nature is a spiritual shower for the soul it and is. body. I love it's that. So, I love that. Me too, yeah. I love so it. cleansing, isn't it? <laughs> I love the way she oh. said that. I'll have well. a shower now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that just, one. But like, we well started, done, like, really we started good. here yeah. with all the trees around us yeah. and all the grass and the beautiful yeah. flowers they're just still oh and you can just feel that energy all around you and it is just so cleansing if you can think about really everything is. in this this reality is all vibration you know and when you're in a if you're in your office and a lot of computers on and things like that all that energy all that activity all that vibration that electromagnetic that creates a, stress creates a vibration mm -hmm. yeah and it's just like whenever the electricity goes off in your home if, if you ever had that experience there's like a deadness. Yeah, it's like the plug's been pulled out the bath. Is like, and that's because you're, you're, there's no uh -huh. vibration there. You're actually bringing it down. And nature's like that. So rather than disconnecting your electricity, get out into the garden or get out into the field somewhere. Sunbathe so or, oh, or, oh. or, or bathe in the sea and, uh, or a lake. I know I have, oh, friends, uh, who, uh, I have friends who also go swimming in the lake, uh, in nudist lake. Or it could be a nudist. It, it could be not a nudist lake, obviously, but that's my friend from Keep the Germany. Keep an eye out for any, out in nature, keep an eye for any sharks or, or pike floating about there. Yeah. Yeah. Or getting into the sea with your swimming clothes, etc. is like so healing and like swimming with Mother Mother Earth, oh, Mother amazing. Nature. You know? It just have really you cleanses nudism? the aura as well. Mm -hmm. Have you it? found nudism and things like that? Have you ever, have you ever done nakedness? Yeah, I think it's one of the best spiritual experiences of my life. I was swimming naked in Bali and, oh, yeah. and I tried it in the nice Caribbean one, too. Man. Nothing better. It's like you're really, like, it's like you're in the womb or the bosom of Mother Earth, like Gaia herself Wonderful. in her like beautiful like liquid or something. It's extremely magical. It's way better than swimming with clothes on because that creates a sense of a barrier. Mm -hmm. But when that without the clothes, it's like it's like you're fully enveloped and Wonderful. surrounded by and l hugged by Gaia herself. And I'm a big fan, obviously, just like generally being naked, like if I can in nature, as long as it's not like um, an inappropriate place. Watch the next place. video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the next video. <laughs> it's, it's rare I can have that opportunity, but it, it is very lovely. Like Especially like, in eat, Ireland. <laughs> getting the sun, feeling the air. Because like, you're stripping yourself off all uh, attachments, physical, all yeah. barriers. Yeah. Even, even clothes, like I'm not against clothes by any means, and I love clothes. But if you do think about it another way, like clothes, say sometimes can be a barrier to water vapor or the rain or the air or a mist or or the sun um it can be a bit of a, it's a little bit of a barrier not that you have to yeah. go crazy about it but it's really nice without the barrier sometimes too you think cool. about like earthing with your ground on the feet your so your feet on the ground yeah, the barrier now yeah. when you're walking along like i've got trainers on now and you do feel there's that barrier between you and the earth. Now, yeah. if you can go barefoot, I know it's not always practical, but if you can go barefoot whenever you can, that connection with the earth, it just feeds you because you're getting the energy coming straight from the ground, going right through your feet, all the way through the body. And you feel it far more than when you've got shoes on, it really, and as well as giving your feet a good massage too, which it, is really nice. <laughs> there's a book about this called Earthing, I think, and it's been scientifically shown to be extremely redu reducing of stress 
and anxiety and various other emotional things and physical uh -huh. just by doing it like 20 minutes per day or something barefoot some, even just on your lawn in the back garden it's so wonderful. healing or walk on uh -huh. the beach absolutely yeah. wonderful it's been shown to help you people go guys i hope this is um you get a foot massage and a lovely relaxation treatment in nature and if you yes. happen to be naked and you get a girl with you or a boy with you and maybe you get a back massage oh yeah uh, <laughs> i went naked one time. I, naked. I went camping one time did you i did this Marvelous. is a wee story and i went camping one time up a mountain in Sligo, and i was in a tent and I was naked and I got out and I was obviously in the, the middle of nowhere hmm. and shining the bees trees and I went out and I was naked to go to the toilet it's of course. amazing. And it was the first time ever that I was ever naked outside the bathroom or outside the shower room. And there's, as someone says, and so I can resonate with what you're saying. Magical. Like, I don't know if I would do it in public. I don't think I'd be But how did you feel, enough. Sean? How did you Fantastic. feel? Fantastic. I see what I, mean? I felt as if Ridiculous. that I was free. back home again. That's it's free at home. And if you think about all the insects and all the animals, they go around naked all the time. They don't wear clothes. And they also happen mm -hmm. to poop and pee mm -hmm. just wherever they want, which I'm not trying to encourage or say we should or anything like that. But I'm just saying there's such a sense of naturalism yeah. and freedom. Yeah. Whereas we all have these like high, highly strong, like fearful and self-conscious ideas and it's such a, like, a, yeah. like a straight jacket you know it can't just like be like every single other one of the like plants animals and insects on the earth this is wonderful we never knew that this was going to come up but we're just free flowing here we're actually and this is the, the joy about nature <laughs> you'll be surprised yourself when you get into nature it's amazing you start jettis and we do this on a regular basis by the way so we're, we're actually used to dropping off the negative bag we don't retain <laughs> anything jettison <laughs> but once you go into um nature it's surprising when you clear your <gasps> mind Free thoughts come to you, and this is what's happening in this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Well Do you know, done, if I yeah. go a Thanks, few Sean. days, Sean, you too, man. Oh, yeah, go ahead, tell you, go if I there. go a few days without being able to get out in nature, which happens a lot sometimes, obviously, you have you know days where the, it just the doesn't office, stop raining man. or stuck in the office, you've got loads of work to do. And then after a few days, I actually start to feel like myself stressed and everything, even though I've got nothing to be stressed about. And just going out in nature, it's almost like it has to charge yeah. all the, the aura. You know, holding on to all that negativity in the air and everything, especially on computers, all that electromagnetic stress that just yeah. sticks to you. You go out and it's just so healing and freshing and cleansing. Mm. It really is, isn't it? When you yeah. think about the sand being in the box, and we all like to think that we've claimed out of the box. We're out of the box, everybody says. You're out of the box. I mean, when you look, you spend most of your time in the box, in your home, in your office. That's true, one you know big know box. I mean? mm -hmm. That's one big box. <laughs> and to get out... And one big box you know, sitting in front of the box. There's nothing between you and the higher self. That's, yeah. that's a box the within a box. <laughs> one other thing I wanted to share with you, a personal tiny story, is one of the things that I find to be a really, really, really spiritual and magical experience for me personally is when I just like lie on the ground uh, on my back. Oh, um, lovely, yeah. And I, then I feel deeply connected to the physical oh. part of Mother Earth more than just walking on her barefoot. Wonderful. I feel like I'm deeply like one on one, like flat on flat. Lovely. Connected to her, you know, Mother Earth Gaia. Oh, wonderful. And that, uh -huh. even with clothes on, like, there's nothing got to do with being nude or anything. But I did at a dart station because it was a sunny day a week ago and I was at the Greystones uh, dart station, a uh, train station, and some other people were sitting on the ground and I sat on the ground. But then I eventually just like lied back and I felt like the most relaxed I'd felt like in ages. And I was thinking, like, this is a really spiritual experience, like a standout moment. And how many of us do any of these things we're saying, uh -huh. except for going in nature, which is brilliant. Some people don't have any connections with nature at all. They'll get up in the morning in the houses, put on their very clean, you know, clothes, go into their mm. cars, drive in their cars to their office, get in their stuffy office, leave the office, come back, go to the house. They never ever see, except maybe the car window. They don't thinking? actually go out walking in their feet, actually onto that ground and having all the energy around them of the trees and yeah. nature. It is so important. It is medicine. It's spiritual medicine. Yeah. Yeah. for the soul which your, your body well, needs you, you say you know? amazingly it's, well it's, it's like, true it really it's so is important. true people yeah. are conditioned into believing that that's the way and we've all had to do that you know uh -huh. I mean, we have to work we have to work we have to do and we have to pay bills and so we do but you know they're keeping it from you guys that you know you're you're losing out a great section of your life and even if you can get out for 10 15 minutes a day definitely at least even you know an hour a day an hour yeah. a week even get back out in that nature and oh, connect it's, it's, it says you know it's going to get to the stage you know it might be illegal to hug some <laughs> trees and what we're going to do. I'm looking at the lovely oak love tree there. And what we're going to do is we're going Get to give up. this tree a hug. Yeah. And we're going to be sending you guys positive energy yeah. right down the tree, right down yeah. the roots, <laughs> right through the soil and right across the world to where you are. Because yes. you may be in a different part of the world, but remember this, the, you know, the soil that you're standing on, we're the all earth you're standing on. Earth. Is the exact mm -hmm. same as what we're standing on. It's just mm -hmm. a different location of this beautiful planet. So yeah. we're going to be sending you guys love through this lovely oak tree. Wonderful. And uh, mm -hmm. thank you all so much yeah. for watching. 
check the links down below to each other's channels yeah. and uh, we'll put information that we've shared with you and some links on it uh, we love having you here yeah guys send you love yeah from beautiful ireland yeah <laughs> check out these guys channels john and Lynn, they have lots of channels so i'm gonna put up uh, information below the video and um <laughs> like sean said and maybe probably in the annotations and sending love on your spiritual journey Absolutely. and lots, lots of love and respect and positive energy too and Woo. if you're watching this on our channel check out Obi's channel he has an amazing youtube <laughs> channel with some amazing inspirational and really helpful videos on there so check him out guys and please subscribe and if you yeah, want to see more of these uh, collaboration videos give, give it a big shout. thumbs up yeah give, a, give us a <laughs> comment comment like and share with your loved ones friends family online and offline and, and we go do and thank get you naked and dance in a garden yeah. somewhere yeah. jump up and down <laughs> maybe not in your neighbor's garden because that would make it into trouble <laughs> see you later guys so bye everybody of lots of love <laughs> see bye <you. laughs> thanks guys well done guys lovely 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 oh it's so Fantastic. lovely that's a great video <laughs>